In this video, Timmy's going to show you multiple different ways to switch between user accounts on a Chromebook. In previous videos, Timmy has shown you how to create multiple user accounts and do other things with user accounts like that. But once you're done with that, if you have multiple accounts that you want to switch between, there's actually a few different ways you can go about doing it, depending on your use case. The most common way to switch user accounts on a Chromebook is to simply sign out and then sign back in again. So if we're in this one account here and we want to sign out of this and switch to a different account, we would click on the time in the bottom right hand corner and then click the sign out button down here. And that will sign us out of this current account and take us back to the sign in screen. So now you're just on the sign in screen as though you've just turned your Chromebook on. So you could sign back into the account we were just in, or you can click on any other account you want to sign into and type your pin or password to sign into this account. And then you'll be back into this account. So it might give you the welcome recap and you can open up the apps you previously had open in this account. And now you're done. You've switched accounts like that. But when you do this, you're completely signing out of one account and then signing into another. So if this is two separate people sharing one Chromebook and using their own separate accounts, this is probably the best way to do it. But if you want to quite frequently keep switching between accounts, Maybe you have a work one and a personal one, or you have two different businesses you're running and you're switching between accounts like that or something. You might want a way where you can more seamlessly just jump from one account to the other without having to sign out of all your accounts. And there is a way you can do that. There's a way you can sign into multiple accounts at the same time and just jump between them. To get started, you'll just need to sign into one of your accounts. So pick one of the accounts you want to be signed into and type your pin or password to sign in there. And then once you're back in here, you can open stuff up if you want and just be back in here. Once you're in here, you need to click on the time in the bottom right hand corner once again to bring up this menu. But now click on the menu button, the power menu button here to bring up the options like shutdown and restart and things. But we're not going to click on any of them. Instead, we're going to click on your email address at the top of this menu here. And now you'll see the current account that you're currently signed into. And directly below that will be a button sign in another user. So if we click this, it will pull up a sign in screen. But as you can see, the Tech Time with Timmy account we were already signed into is not here because that's still already signed in. So we're just picking one of the other two accounts to sign into here. So maybe we also want to be signed into this account. So we'll click on this account and type the pin or password for this account. And now It'll give you the regular welcome recap stuff and you can open up your apps. So now you are completely signed into this account and you can use this account just like you normally would, but you're also still signed in to the first account. So if we click on the time in the bottom right hand corner, we'll see we now have the profile picture of the account you're currently signed into. So right now we're in the Timmy Beanie account and we've got Timmy Beanie's apps up here and stuff. And if we just click on this profile picture, we can see the two accounts that we're currently signed into and immediately jump back to the Tech Time with Timmy profile. So you can see all the apps were still open and everything like that because they're both signed in at the same time and you don't have to type in a password or anything. You can just jump between them that quickly. So if we want to, we could also go back to the Timmy Beanie profile now, just with two clicks like that. So it makes it really quick and easy to jump between accounts. Obviously, 
If it's two separate people with two separate user accounts, you might not want to do this because you don't need a password or anything. You can very easily jump between the accounts. But if they're just two of your user accounts or something, this can make it quite easy. And if you can remember a keyboard shortcut, it gets even easier. On your keyboard, if you hold down the Control and Alt keys, so hold both of them down at the same time, you can then press these two arrow keys, one of these keys. So not these arrow keys, these don't work for it. It needs to be the ones with the comma and the full stop on them. You can press either one of these keys and that will immediately jump you to the other user account. So then you don't even need to click anything. It's really just three keys and you can jump through your user accounts like that. So if you switch accounts all the time, you'll probably be able to remember that keyboard shortcut and then it makes it really quick and easy to jump between accounts. And it doesn't have to just be two accounts. You could sign into three accounts at the same time if you want to. All you would need to do is basically the same thing. Click on the time in the bottom right hand corner and then click on the power button there and could click on your email address again and click on sign in another user. And now Timmy only has three user accounts on this Chromebook. So it's pulled up the third user account as the only option. So we'll sign into this one. And now we can reopen the apps and everything in this one like that. So we've got this one signed in, the apps open, and we're using this one. And now if we come in here and click on the profile picture, we can switch between any of the three user accounts on here with one click just that easily. And going back to the keyboard shortcut, this is where the actual arrows start to make sense because you can hold the control and alt and press one key to go that way. So now we're in Bob's account and now we're in Tech Time with Timmy's account and now we're in Timmy Beanie's account or you can press the other way and jump back one to go to Tech Time with Timmy. So you can cycle through them and switch accounts like that using the keyboard shortcut. And if your Chromebook falls asleep or you shut the lid, when you come back and wake it back up again, you'll probably see what looks like a login screen for security reasons. But all you need to do is type in the pin or password for one of these accounts and then you'll be right back where you left off, sign into all of them. So it hasn't signed you out of everything right now. You just need to type one pin, the whatever pin for whatever account you're currently on. And then if we click back on the time here, you'll see we're still signed into all of these accounts. So we can continue to switch between the accounts just like this. And when you're done with this, and you no longer want to be signed into all these accounts at the same time, you can just come back in to click on the time here and click on the power menu here and click sign out. And that will sign you out of all the accounts and just take you back to the sign in screen where you could then sign into one account or re-sign into all the accounts. Or if you were to just click the shut down button here to actually turn off your Chromebook, or the restart button, in fact, that would actually sign you out of all your accounts as well in order to shut down or restart your Chromebook. So whenever you restart your Chromebook for an update or just to turn it off and turn it back on again later, you will just need to re-sign into all the accounts by clicking on your email address and then clicking add account and then you can add all the accounts you want to be signed into but you just need to sign back into all of them like that. And then you'll be once again able to jump between them. But that's all the different ways you can switch between accounts on your Chromebook. So hopefully you found this video helpful and Tamil see you in the next one.